Hi, this is Farhana and today I'm going to talk about the latest news in tech. There are many interesting developments happening in the world of network technology every day. Here are some of the headlines that caught my attention. You can now exchange numbers just by tapping iPhones together. Here's how to use it. A new feature in iOS 17 allows you to swap contact information just by holding your iPhone next to another one. This is possible thanks to the Near Field Communication NFC, technology that enables wireless data transfer between devices. Near Field Communication or NFC is a technology that allows two devices to communicate wirelessly over a very short distance, usually less than 4 cm. You can use NFC to share data, make payments, or connect to other devices. For example, you can tap your phone to a smart poster to get more information, or you can pay for your coffee by holding your phone near a payment terminal. NFC is based on radio frequency identification RFID, standards and works at a frequency of 13.56 MHz. NFC has many applications and benefits, such as It is easy to use and does not require complex setup or pairing. It is secure and can encrypt data or authenticate users. It is compatible with existing RFID technologies and devices. It can enable faster and more convenient transactions and services. NFC is evolving and expanding to different industries and sectors, such as healthcare, education, entertainment, and transportation. You can find NFC-enabled devices such as smartphones, tablets, laptops, wearables, and smart cards in the market. Some examples of NFC applications are Ticketing, you can use NFC to buy tickets for concerts, movies, public transport, etc. by tapping your phone to a reader or a poster. This can save you time and paper. Contactless payments, you can use NFC to pay for goods and services by holding your phone near a payment terminal. This can be more convenient and secure than using cash or cards. Easy data transfers, you can use NFC to share data such as photos, videos, contacts, etc. with another NFC-enabled device by bringing them close together. This can be faster and simpler than using Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Electronic voting, you can use NFC to cast your vote in elections by scanning your ID card and tapping your phone to a voting machine. This can reduce fraud and human error. Healthcare and fitness, you can use NFC to monitor your health and fitness by connecting your phone to wearable devices such as smartwatches, heart rate monitors, etc. You can also use NFC to access your medical records or prescriptions by scanning a smart tag or a bracelet. These are just some of the examples of NFC applications that you can find in various industries and sectors. NFC is a versatile and innovative technology that can enable many new possibilities and benefits for users. NFC, or Near Field Communication, is a wireless technology that allows your phone to interact with other devices or tags over a very short distance. NFC is often used for contactless payments, data transfers, or device pairing. You may wonder how secure NFC is and whether it can protect your data from hackers or thieves. In this answer, I will explain some of the security features and risks of NFC and how you can use it safely. NFC is considered to be a secure technology because of its very short range and encryption capabilities. To intercept an NFC signal, a hacker would need to be very close to you usually within a few centimeters. This means that you would likely notice if someone was trying to steal your data or payment information. NFC also uses encryption to protect the data that is exchanged between devices or tags. The encryption protocol that NFC follows is the same one that is used by chip-enabled payment cards, which is more secure than swiping your card at a terminal. Superscript 3 NFC payments also require authentication, such as a PIN code or biometric verification, to prevent unauthorized transactions. However, NFC is not completely immune to security risks. There are some ways that hackers can exploit NFC vulnerabilities, such as eavesdropping. This is when a hacker uses a device to capture the data that is transmitted between two NFC devices or tags. This can be done by using a powerful antenna or amplifier to extend the range of the NFC signal. Data modification. This is when a hacker alters the data that is transmitted between two NFC devices or tags. This can be done by using a device that acts as a relay or proxy between the original devices or tags. 
tag cloning, this is when a hacker copies the data from an NFC tag and creates a duplicate tag that can be used for malicious purposes. This can be done by using a device that can read and write NFC tags. To prevent these attacks, you should follow some best practices when using NFC, such as Only enable NFC when you need to use it and disable it when you are not using it. This will reduce the chances of unwanted NFC interactions. Only use trusted NFC devices or tags and avoid tapping your phone to unknown or suspicious ones. This will prevent you from accessing malicious websites or downloading harmful software. Use a secure wallet app or service that supports NFC payments and offers fraud protection and transaction alerts. This will help you monitor your payment activity and report any suspicious charges. Use a screen lock or password on your phone and enable device encryption. This will prevent unauthorized access to your phone and your personal data. I hope this gives you an overview of how secure NFC is and how you can use it safely. NFC, or Near Field Communication, is a wireless technology that allows your phone to interact with other devices or tags over a very short distance. NFC can be used for contactless payments, data transfers, or device pairing. However, not all phones have NFC capabilities. To check if your phone has NFC, you can follow these steps. Go to Settings on your phone. Under Wireless and Networks, tap on More. Here, you will see an option for NFC. If your phone supports it, if the option is not there, your phone does not have NFC. Alternatively, you can also use a third-party app called Do I Have NFC? free to check for NFC support on your phone. You can download it from the Play Store. The app will tell you whether or not your phone has NFC as soon as you launch it. NFC, or Near Field Communication, is a wireless technology that allows your phone to interact with other devices or tags over a very short distance. NFC can be used for contactless payments, data transfers, or device pairing. However, not all phones have NFC capabilities. To help you find some popular phones with NFC, I searched the web using Bing and found some results for you. According to the websites I found, some of the popular phones with NFC are Samsung Galaxy S23 and S23 Ultra. These are the latest flagship phones from Samsung that offer stunning displays, powerful performance, and impressive cameras. They also support NFC for seamless connectivity and secure payments. Google Pixel 7a 5G, this is a mid-range phone from Google that offers a smooth user experience, a long-lasting battery, and a great camera. It also has NFC for easy data transfers and contactless payments. Xiaomi 13 Pro, this is a premium phone from Xiaomi that features a sleek design, a fast processor, and a high-quality camera. It also has NFC for convenient device pairing and transactions. Nokia G100, this is an affordable phone from Nokia that offers a large screen, a decent battery life, and a durable build. It also has NFC for simple connectivity and payments. These are just some of the popular phones with NFC that I found on the web. Yes, you can use NFC or near-field communication to transfer files between phones. NFC is a wireless technology that allows your phone to interact with other devices or tags over a very short distance usually within a few centimeters. You can use NFC to share data such as photos, videos, contacts, etc. with another NFC-enabled phone by bringing them close together. To transfer files using NFC, you will need to follow these steps. Make sure both phones have NFC enabled. You can check this in the Settings app under Wireless and Networks or more. Open the file that you want to share on the phone that is sending it. It can be a photo, a video, a contact, or any other supported file type. Touch the back of both phones together until you hear a beep or feel a vibration. This means that the NFC connection is established. On the screen of the phone that is sending the file, you will see a prompt to tap to beam. Tap on the screen to start the file transfer. On the screen of the phone that is receiving the file, you will see a notification that a file is being received. You can tap on the notification to open the file once it is transferred. The file transfer process may take a few seconds or minutes depending on the size of the file and the speed of the connection. 
The file will be saved in the downloads folder or in a specific app folder on the receiving phone. I hope this helps you understand how to use NFC to transfer files between phones. NFC or Near Field Communication is a wireless technology that allows your phone to interact with other devices or tags over a very short distance, usually within a few centimeters. You can use NFC to share data, make payments, or pair devices. NFC is based on RFID, but has a much lower transmission range and encryption capabilities. NFC follows standards set by the NFC Forum and the GSMA Group. NFC is widely used in various industries and sectors, such as ticketing, contactless payments, data transfers, electronic voting, healthcare and fitness, etc. NFC is a convenient and secure technology that can enable many new possibilities and benefits for users. I hope this information gives you a brief overview of what NFC is and how it works. Thank you for your listening and I will see you in the next one.